all this world is is seeing. And your expansion is just seeing from a bigger lens. That's what causes expansion. It's all, and all your pain is just shit that's not seen. Does that make sense? Shit that you think isn't seen. What comes up for me to talk to you about is one of the most profound revelations of my life, which is when you're fixing something so that you can be seen correctly, when you're fixing something so you can be understood, when you're fixing something, uh, protecting something, whatever, you're under the illusion that you're able to keep something from the light. And what we don't understand is everything is perfect and everything is 100% seen. See, we think something's not seen until everyone's egos sees it. We think something's not seen until other people see it, right? So because of that, we want people to know our side of something or we feel like we better go on our mission or get our voice out or whatever. Or we're worried that things aren't seen, like, you know, things that we know might be going on with the government, things that's going on in the world right now, but it's 100% seen. It's already seen. It's all the way seen. It's all the way to light, right? It's all the way brought up to light. And I want you to picture that God is just like shining this full on light on everything. It's already shining a full on light on everything. And our ego is like a five-year-old kid that thinks it's protecting something. It thinks it's protecting something from coming to light, like who I really am or something that I feel shame about or what someone did to me or the real me, whatever it is, it's 100% seen. But we get to play this little game and be under the illusion that it's not seen. We get to be under the illusion that uh, we're hiding something. And it really feels like something uh, that I've talked about before, but this is kind of a different version of it. But how cute it is when our kids, you know, my little daughter thinks she's hiding from me. And she will play hide and seek and she'll go try to find me and she's right in front of me. But I want her to feel like she's able to hide. I want her to feel like she's doing that. And God's the same way. God's like, you can hold on to this thing and think you're hiding the real you from the world. But just so you know, it's all the way to light. And we think like things in the world, like government secrets and everything like that. Imagine all the stuff going on. If you've studied stuff about things like the World Economic Forum, or you've looked at things going on in the world, and you're just like, oh my God, like they're going to do this. No, 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 no. That's just you hiding your stuff, thinking that those things have that power. It's all the way to light. And they're all like little kids thinking they're hiding. It's all the way to light. See, we trick ourselves into thinking it's in the light once the egos of the world sees it. But it's already seen. So if you take a second and you realize you're the one seeing everything, not the one hiding. Then everything is seen through you. You're not the one hiding. See the one that's hiding. That's horrifying because that one hiding thinks that if something's shown, it'll get hurt. But that's maybe because you're trying to show it to someone's ego or you have shown it to someone's ego. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just seeing the one that's hiding. Everything's already seen. We're so funny to think it's not. But a lot of what we do is to fix the idea that nothing's seen. Like, I got to get my voice out now. You can. But you don't from the fear of no one will see you. I've had it happen before in my life where someone said something about me and I immediately needed the other, I wanted them to know my side or my perspective or what I meant and the illusion that I'm under is the story itself needs to be seen. It's already seen.
can you be with the idea and just surrender the doer for a second to protect what you want seen or to force what you want seen or whatever? Can you just be with that anything that you think you're hiding about you is all the way seen? And you can be the one that tells the image that's hiding something about you, you know, I see you. And it's not when you see you, it's a, you, you can play the role of the hider that's scared shitless about what I'm saying, or you can play the role of the seer. One is all the way the truth of you. And the other one is fear, is ego, is protection, is the story. So we always think, well, this thing's going to come to light when everyone sees it. No, no, no. Cut out the middleman. It's already, it's already in the light. You're just creating your own little hoarder that says it's through them seeing it that brings it. To, it's already in the light. It's free. It's fine. It's fine. Wait till the world sees this. Why are you creating that middleman? Why are you creating the middleman? It's seen. Can you feel that? Can you feel right here? It might be uncomfortable for a second. Think of the thing that you think you need to do so people understand you. Think of the thing that you're scared for other people to see. Think of the idea that other people need to see something for something to be freed. And then see it. Just be with these middlemen that you're creating and understand that you can't block what's seen. You're just blocking what you know is there from yourself, but you even know it's there, so you're not. Look at the little kid that thinks it's hiding that you usually think is you. This is an interesting one because it's farther than the story. So some people are working through understanding this right now. I want you to just be with the idea that everything's fine. That there's nothing for your ego to fix. There's nothing for your ego to fix. Notice how much the ego goes, if that's seen, when other people see it, then we're free. really see the you that's in any type of strategy or fixing or figuring out as thinking that you're protecting something or thinking whatever. We got to get everyone to know this. No, you don't. They already know. They already know, they already know. But some people are in their fears. Thinking 
that they're covering something up, but they can feel that thing. So imagine you're a little kid trying to hide and you can feel that light getting closer to you. And you're really protecting this thing, but you can feel something sees you. Imagine you're a kid playing hide and seek and your goal is to stay hidden and something's seeing you. So you gotta protect it more, or you can let go and go, you found me. But some people on the planet are protecting it more and that's why they're louder. That's why there's more shame. That's why there's more anger. That's why they're so mad because deep down, they kind of deep down know that they're seen and they're protecting what they think is their identity. So the screaming energy, the anger, the loudest energy, the most repressed, the angriest about the world is mad because their little story that they thought they were hiding something from the world, that they thought they were protecting from, that they thought they were whatever. There's just the person's right there. I see you. And they're like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't see me. You vaccine issue fight. You are the problem. You're the one who ruined my life. You're the one who blah, blah, blah. You're the reason blah, blah, I'm a shitty parent. You're the reason that I couldn't live my dreams. You're da, 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 da. Because I'm, I know I'm being seen and I got to fight it. Right? So who's the loudest, angriest shit they saw what we were doing in the, I'm getting a little real here. They saw what we're doing in the last couple of years. Let's start a war. We cannot own anything. Are you seeing it? And then every person too. It's not just we keep the focus on the outside. Every person's going through this. Do you understand what I'm saying? That every person's going through this. There is a light turning on you and you think you are a protector of the light. Even if you think your job is to get everyone else to light, you can only at the level that you've brought yourself to light. And that doesn't mean you gotta go show everyone everything. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you seeing it, you seeing it. Do you get what I'm saying? You seeing the kid that has some belief system that's traumatic that says, if someone sees this dad hits me again, if someone sees this mom shames me again, that kid, I cannot get this out. It's traumatic in my body. It is so fucking scary. It is so scary in my body. That's the only thing that's being protected a false idea of you. So Lawrence says, getting others to see the truth is so exhausting. That's a great example. You don't need others to see the truth because the truth is seen. See, your character goes, I need them to see that. And then it's seen. That's a middleman. You're welcome to share it, but your anger at the same time is the belief that it's coming to light once others see this. Is everyone getting what I'm saying? The belief, this middleman, the stress is, it's in light when everyone's ego understands this. But what if the world mirrors you? And what if literally you can bring to yourself the seeing that it's already seen. And it's so cute. God is so cool. The, the lens that you look through this is so cool because it goes, you can feel like you're hiding if you want to. That's what's dying. The idea that there is a you. That's why you would ever care about, for instance, how you look. That's why you would ever care about if you get your voice out because God's got a voice coming through you. There's already a voice. 
the illusion that you got to protect your separate story. Eventually, you're going to die into you. And I'm not talking physical death. Eventually, I want them to understand me. I need to get this out. I got to whatever. That's all fear protecting you from nothing. Take a deep breath in. Lorraine got it. And I want you to know something, and this is for me. If anyone doesn't get it, that's okay. My old story would want to make sure every single person gets it to the point where I would stay standing there making sure they do and sacrifice my day sometimes. <laughs> the old me would stand in a store and, and no matter where someone was, make sure they got that they're amazing. And they, so, and like now there's a light in me that goes, it's okay. If you don't get it, it's okay. If you get it, awesome. Today's talk is I'm giving what I have. I'm an apple tree offering, offering apples. It's okay if you don't like them. But why did I have a me that needs someone to get it? Because I was under the illusion that I'm only seen when my mom understands me. Do you get this? I was under the illusion that I was only seen once I know that my mom understands me. Does everyone get that? You're only seen when your dad acknowledges you. You're only seen when you get a parent's approval. You're only seen when your siblings say good job. And then it becomes your partner or people in your life or those friends. And you have this thing where you want them to understand you in one way or the other. And you actually have tricked yourself into thinking something isn't seen until that person acknowledges you. You've tricked yourself. It's now not seen until they see it. The deepest you, the truth in you is seen, but you get to play the game as long as you want that can trick yourself into thinking they don't see me. And it's fine. It's actually fine. Like, imagine that the energy is like, you can totally do that. We don't need to hurry it up. That's also ego. Like another you is hiding in the light going, I got to open this up and get it. Just so you know, you're the light. You're the light. You're the light. But you've played the role of the one that's hiding or maneuvering the light or manufacturing the light or creating the light or switching the light. It's all fine. And as you move forward, life will just expand your view to the now, nothing else. And what happens? You shed the middleman. This poor little kid that goes, it's seen once I get it seen. All this world is a seeing. All this world is a seeing. And your expansion is just seeing from a bigger lens. That's what causes expansion. It's all, and all your pain is just shit that's not seen. Does that make sense? Shit that you think isn't seen. So what if you don't try to see anything right now? Because it's seen. And then you kind of sit in the knowing it's seen and not become the purger anymore. What if the now is here to purge your purger? 
Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, let me go through that. Let me go through that with you. Maybe you had a breakthrough a while ago. And then you, you realize something. And most people on this call have had a breakthrough. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have some type of breakthrough. So you have a you that goes, whoa, I had an insight. So then you have a problem later and you go, oh, I'm about to learn a new thing. So guess who shows up? That, that seeker, that purger that knows how to orchestrate a surrender and it looks for it, looks for it, looks for it. Something's coming up for me. Okay. And maybe it finds something. Maybe through some work, you have another revelation. Okay. Now you start teaching yourself this lie. Everything in the world needs to be worked through, through my purger. Getting it so far? What if you got to a place where there was nothing wrong, but your purger still looking? Do you get this? What if there's nothing wrong, but your purger's in there trying to find a problem, so you're still feeling pain and tricking yourself into thinking there's trauma to overcome, but your purger's looking, and that's why there's pain, because now you got your seeker going through, right? So your seeker's the only one left. It's like, the first three days, it's been shoveling shit. It's found this breakthrough, found this breakthrough. Now it's the only thing there and there's no shit. But because it's running around in your body seeking, you're disconnected from your source or you think you are. And now it's time to thank the purger, the seeker, the worker. It's time to say thank you and see it. Because there's nothing to fix. Like, have you been in your meditations kind of, I gotta find the thing to overcome. Ooh, what's that thing mean? Who's that talking? Oh, I feel pain. What's that? Maybe the pain is the direct result of the purger seeking it. And there's nothing there. Take a deep breath in. And re release it. Someone just said, this is so heavy in my chest. Fantastic. Do you get why? Why would that be okay? Because we just saw something new from a deeper lens and we just get present. You don't have to go do what you do usually. You know what I mean? Like you have a breakthrough and then you got to make sure everyone knows the breakthrough or you have a breakthrough and then you, whatever, you, you have, now you can live your your goal that you thought. Yeah, whatever is hurting is letting go. Imagine that this talk just shined the light even more on the kid. And the kid's like got its head down, like, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. And the light's like going, <laughs> don't look at me, don't look at me. It's still a little bit holding on. Fine. It's okay. You can hold on. No, no, no. And then it just eventually, maybe not today, maybe in a second, maybe another day. It'll dissolve right into the you that's here. There is no you. It's so funny. Yesterday earlier in the day, I saw some big stuff. I saw a video JP put out yesterday. <laughs> and there was a fear, it's like, Jesus. And then this revelation happened. I actually had a talk with Kim Duramo that was probably 15 minutes and it was so expansive. I was telling her something I was going through and she pointed that out too. She goes, well, you're seeing it at the level of the story. And I was like, 
you're right. And then I, then I came up with this revelation that everything's seen. And the most right now revelation I could have, I'm bringing to you. And it very well could hurt if, because this is murder <laughs> to what you thought you were. So then what happens? The thing you thought you were yesterday could very well be like, no, screw that. This is too much light on me. And then the same us that wants the light on everything else say you're sorry, or do you guys know what's going on, or whatever, is to protect you. The idea of you. So just be present. And notice what's here, and then notice all your ego's old way of fixing everything, right? that tries to fix it at the level of the story. And just, can you be present with that pain of light and the part of you that's trying to run from being seen? I believe that 2022 could be really magical if you have an understanding of what's going on and do the constant work of really being in surrender and letting the universe remove from your body what you're not. Join me and my team for an insane, powerful two-day event. And join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass. Join a community of people who are in the same work as you. I can't wait to see you there.